Hi friends, welcome back to my channel or hello if you are new. Today we are going to spend some time in our living room decorating for spring, getting everything nice and fresh and simplifying my decor just a bit. So I'm starting off by cleaning off my open shelves. I like to give everything a good dusting and then I'll wipe everything down with a multi-purpose cleaner. This is the Mrs. Meyers Lilac Scent and it smells so good. Next, I'm gonna be adding in some faux plants. I also have this little vintage clock that I recently picked up from a vintage spring market. If you wanna see that video, I will link it down below. But I also have this basket that I'm adding some tulips in and a little doily, another find I got from that vintage market, just to kind of add a cottage touch, something a little girly. I feel like having that little feminine flair in my decor is something that I'm longing for this time of year. I also have this really pretty gold open frame that I'm just using to layer in with some vases and I'm adding lots of tulips everywhere. I know tulips are almost out of season, but I still love them. So I'm adding those to vases. And then once it gets a little bit warmer in the summer months, I will switch those florals out. I also have a little landscape picture and then a few different gold pieces. These are just little containers. One I figured I could put some matches in and then the other I might put a faux plant or I may just leave it. I don't know, I kind of like the simplicity. I'm also adding this really neutral pillow to one of our chairs. I'm going to clean off our mantle Fun fact, this is just a piece of cedar that we had left over from our porch. So it's very rough. It's not sanded down or anything, which I love that rustic look, but it does make it a little tricky to clean. I'm going to keep it simple by adding a few books. And then I have this little gold bird on a branch that I'm going to stack on top. And then I'm going to add a candlestick on the other side. going to dust everything off including all of my faux plants. I wish this was real but I do have a black thumb even though I'm trying to branch out and I have purchased a few house plants and they're actually thriving right now so but I'm always scared to get a large tree or any type of plant because they are pricey and I have been known to neglect them and with a baby on the way and a busy toddler and a seven-year-old little boy. I just, it's not the season, but that's okay. These faux ones look really realistic. So I'm just going to dust everything off. I'm wiping off our little side table that I DIY'd back in the winter time whenever we were stuck inside. I love using fusion mineral chalk paint and then I just added some gold hardware and it gave this really affordable piece a whole new look. Now I'm going to clean off our coffee table. Even if you keep your spring and summer decor very simple, there is something about cleaning it really well that just makes the space feel fresh. So if you do nothing else, um, just cleaning everything off really good, getting in all the nooks and crannies, wiping all of the pieces down, it will feel so much better. Now I have some really simple greenery stems. I believe these were from Hobby Lobby and a few more coffee table books. This candle I actually picked up from Tractor Supply. It's in the Garden Sage scent and it smells really good and fresh. So getting me very excited to start our garden, which will be in the next few weeks after our last frost. Moving on to the built-in shelves on the other side of our fireplace. Um, I'm going to keep most of this decor the same. I am going to take out some of the darker pieces though just so it's a little bit lighter and fresher for this time of year. I have lots of books I'm going to leave out and vases. I have a paper mache bowl that I DIY'd. I have that in a video if you'd like to see a tutorial on that. Um, and then I'm going to wipe everything down again, get it nice and clean. And then we're going to add in a few new pieces. One being this really cute white vase that I picked up from that vintage market, a faux house plant, a watering can, things that nod to spring and summer. I also found this beautiful art piece from Home Goods that has different types of flowers. I'm adding lots of greenery and a few floral stems. 
and I feel like it just gives that springy cottage touch. You can never have too many stems or florals. Now I'm going to add some lighter textiles and pillows to our couch. I have this very lightweight quilt. It's so soft and not that heavy. So I'm going to put that on the couch as well as a few different pillows. I love getting pillow covers from Amazon. That taupe gingham one came in a two pack from Amazon. It's in a Euro size. So I just had some pillows already on hand that I put inside of them. I will link them down below as well as everything that I love from Amazon. But these are so soft and cozy and really nice to curl up with. I also like to use more lightweight gauzy blankets this time of year. So that gingham one was from Target a few years back. And then I also have one thrown on the side of the couch. And here is the living room, all nice and fresh and ready for spring. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me and taking a peek into our home for spring. I am sharing a spring home tour very soon here on my channel. So if you'd like to see a tour of our home this time of year, be on the lookout for that. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you soon in my next one. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.